Hello, hello, Leo. Welcome to your 2019 overview reading. This is good for you if you're a sun, moon, or rising Leo. And I have some very exciting news today. So I thought that I would share that with you first thing, which is one, I'm now offering video readings, which are available for purchase. And that is, um, you know, it's been a big request, so it comes with all the bells and whistles, all the oracle cards, all that good stuff. And the other thing is that 2019 Love and Romance readings are out now, and so the link will be in the description box. Those are all on Patreon if you want to check that out. Um... It's what keeps the content coming, and you, I mean, I put hours of work into those readings, so it is well worth it. They turned out awesome. Okay, so I also want to let you guys know that this reading is, you know, because I'm an intuitive counselor and because I'm actually a psychic, I know that people get super uptight about tarot, um, but... In reality, it's like intuitive counseling is what I do. I'm I'm an energetic counselor. I do cold reads. So that's actually my wheelhouse. I use tarot for healing, support, guidance. And so that's kind of what this reading is here to help you do if you are new to my channel and you are, have not been exposed to my style before. Don't mind me. I just spilled cards all over the place. Okay. So let's go ahead and get started with some oracle cards. Take a deep breath, pay attention. If there's something you want to have come up today, just go ahead, set your intention. And first thing, for today, I am kind to others. Beautiful. I don't find that Leos really have an issue with this, so it's almost like a reminder to be your, the, the highest and best version of yourself possible. And that's what you can do to even receive more abundance, more health, more well-being in 2019. And the animal card for you is bat. I don't know why these are upside down. Um, so this is interesting. It seems like there's a lot to learn from the things that you can't see right now. It's like there's so much that's going to be coming up in 2019 that's going to kind of reveal itself. And this is just such an asset for you. I, I love seeing this because it's like all of the things that aren't exposed, all of the things you never thought possible. It just seems like there's this enchantment that's happening in 2019. I'm reading the bat as being a big blessing for you because it's shining a light on all those dark corners and there's so much that you can't see right now that's really happening behind the scenes. So I'm excited to see how this plays out. Now, the botanical card for you is sacred. What in your life is sacred to you? And if the answer is nothing, then I would reevaluate that. This is something where it is wise to basically place meaning and responsibility on areas of your life for yourself. Um, it's kind of that concept of the more responsibility you take on, it actually turns into your life having more meaning. So if you're, um, if you're feeling like there's nothing in life that is sacred, make it sacred. Make it something that you can really depend on. This is also going to be a great year to use some rituals for yourself. It could be a morning routine. It could be an evening routine. It could be a prayer practice. But at the end of the day, ritual will be good for you. And the angel card for you is understanding. Reaching a deeper understanding of yourself, reaching a deeper understanding of others. This just looks like you're getting so much clarity already. Like there's so much more value in your life. Um, and it's, it's actually making the relationships that are around you much more high quality along with the opportunities that are coming your way. The central energy for you in 2019 is the Queen of Pentacles. So I think this is going to be a great year to get grounded, make long-term plans, think big picture, 
focus on all of your desires, all the things that you would like to create in this lifetime, and really, as I say, put pen to paper with this. Like, make it so. Make it so. Act as if it's already happening. Treat it as something that, that you're doing in present time. Take action that aligns with your big term goals, your long term goals, excuse me, not big term goals. Um, so just pay, pay attention to that because there's a lot to learn here. And I think this is actually going to be a more consistent and stable year for you than maybe past years have been. The Queen of Pentacles is just an awesome energy for you to be working with in the the central base because it looks like from this point, from the central energy for you, you're going to find that consistent things are a part of your life naturally. Now, I'm doing a mind-body-spirit spread, so we're going to start with mind. Three of Wands gotta love this because it's all about looking ahead. Like I said, long-term plans, big picture, big ideas, big ambition. You have to look out. It's very easy to get sucked into a black hole of, well, I'm not there yet and I have XYZ obstacle and I have all these other things that I need to get done and all these other things that I need to do. And it's kind of like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But the actions that you take are, are going to get you here. So you can't lose sight of that. And I, I've been reminding um, a few signs of that. Like it, it really does take your presence. It, it takes your um, drive to get here. So aim higher. That's the key um, to 2019. Now this is your physical body. We have the Seven of Swords. So are there bad habits that you need to let go of? You know, this is kind of, this is like a quit smoking, you know, stop uh, sitting around so much, um, stop procrastinating, um, you know, step away from unhealthy relationships that make you feel like crap. I mean, that's what the Seven of Swords is telling you to do. Like, you, you have to stop things. You have to clear up some space. If you're overwhelmed, what do you need to get rid of? Are you overextending yourself? Are you making too many promises? Are you spreading yourself too thin? That needs to be cleared up too because you need more energy for yourself, it looks like. And the Seven of Swords is just reminding you it's more about what you take away than, than what you add in 2019. So it's about putting an end to the habits that are distracting you or pulling away from bigger and better things. Now your spiritual experience in 2019 is the two of swords leaning on not knowing and having to take the plunge even if you can't see what lies ahead. It's super, well, it can be really uncomfortable. And so this is just reminding you that it's, it requires your higher self to kind of be sitting in the driver's seat when it comes to dealing with the unknown and dealing with uncertainty. And then the clarifier for the Two of Swords is the Three of Wands. So trust is interesting because it's kind of like you don't have total control over the timing, which is super annoying. I get it. But the focus, the focus needs to be on the desire, not on the obstacle. If you're, if you're only focusing on the obstacle, then obstacles are what will come your way. You want to focus on the progress overemphasize small wins, over um, get overly excited when you get closer to a goal or when something positive happens. And that's how you can start to like reprogram yourself in order to see the good in every single situation and to kind of embody the faith aspect. You have to look for it. You have to give yourself evidence. Otherwise, it's kind of like you can you can always look at the glass as being half empty. And this is one of those times when it you are it seems like you're purely focused on the big picture. Like that 
that's the, the central goal for you. And so whatever that may be, whatever lofty things you're pushing towards, you have to keep that in mind and you have to take um, actions that are really going to support your body through this process. You're going to have to keep your mind focused ahead. Um, and then the spiritual piece is like, yes, trust is one thing, but kind of how you can allow yourself to do that is to constantly get your focus back on track where you want it. It's about making those subtle shifts as you go. All right, now let's look at the advice for you in 2019, justice. I'm going to clarify this. I feel like it's more than stay balanced. I don't, I'm not reading that as being the key thing here. Five of cups. So it's funny. This is actually kind of cracking me up. I'm reading this as being like super high drama. Like, oh no, my life is just falling apart from this one thing that happened. And I mean, I absolutely love Leos. I have lots and lots of Leo friends. And so there's a little bit of this drama that's like, you could get totally derailed by that if you let yourself. And so this is kind of like, all right, keep a clear head. Keep a clear head. It's kind of like, I don't want to say compartmentalize the emotions, but see what are you doing with them? Are you over identifying with your emotions? Because that's kind of a dangerous game. You don't want to, oh, you are not your emotions, <laughs> to be very clear. Um, emotions are things you experience, but remember they shift. They, they shift quickly a lot of the time. Even if you're kind of like in a cloud of malaise for a while, it shifts, like it changes, but you have to take action. So this is kind of reminding you consult someone or something that's neutral. Consult the things that, um, or seek, um, seek information from people who are unbiased if you need help. Otherwise, this is about remaining neutral, not filling in the blanks, not jumping ahead of yourself. It's it's kind of like you can quickly run into everything's breaking down, everything's disappointing, everything is blah, blah, blah. You can quickly get yourself there. And so this is like, hey, you want to temper that, you want to balance that and not put yourself in a position where you're just you know, throwing yourself into disappointment. You know, that's not the way to do things this year if you want to get the best outcome. So keep your, your head needs to be clear. This is also saying don't make emotional decisions. Don't make decisions out of one fleeting feeling that you have. Simmer with it. Take some time to ground yourself and do the things that you need. The thing you need to know about 2019 is the Ten of Cups. Things are far better, far, far better than you are probably giving credit to. Um, it, it, it seems, you know, because this is the happy, happy, joy, joy card. Special shout out to all those people in the comment section talking about how their life is a mess. Um, so <laughs> this is just like, if you're watching this video, on a phone or on a computer, do you not have something to be grateful for? I mean, seriously, like, keep it simple. Look at all the things that you do have. You want to kind of like whip your mind into shape because things are getting so much better this year. This looks like there's a vast improvement that does not mean that there are not hardships. It doesn't mean that crap doesn't happen. It doesn't mean that, you know, things don't get frustrating. I get that. You're a human being with human experiences. But remember to put things into perspective. Keep your eye on the big picture and you're going to find that the, the Ten of Cups becomes more apparent. If you're getting lost in this tit for tat, in this obsession with a, a minor speed bumper roadblock, it, it's just going to derail you. So it's best to keep your eye on the prize, focus on 
the good things that are happening in your life, the good things that are coming your way, the healthy relationships that you do have, and, you know, continue to show gratitude for those and you're going to be a magnet for more. That's why everyone preaches about practicing gratitude and self-love because it makes you a magnet for more love and more things to be grateful for. So, um, you know, th this is something you create. Nobody is just like given a free ticket to the Ten of Cups. You can be a multimillionaire and be miserable out of your mind. And you can be dirt poor and happy as a clam. So it's a matter of perspective on so many different levels. And it, this is just calling you to focus on where you're heading and what is working. That's the, like, what feels good to be around this year? What, what is really filling your cup? What's making you feel jovial and excited to keep going? So I, it's just like, things are so much better than you realize, and you have so much goodness around you, but if you're not looking at it, then you're gonna feel awful. <laughs> okay, so don't ignore the good things. All right, now we're getting into the timeline. So if you're new to my channel, hello. And we start, this is the first quarter, second, third, and fourth quarter. So this will be where you start the year. This will be where you end the year. It's about three months-ish. So like January to March is this card right here. And let's see what's coming up. We have strength. Okay, okay, okay. This is your card. So I think you're just kind of going through the things that you need to get through, going through the motions, doing your thing. It looks very consistent and stable right here. Um, I think you kind of start off going through, um, going through and taking inventory of like, okay, this is these are the things that I want to accomplish. It looks like you're very goal focused in the beginning of the year. So that's good. It's kind of like doing doing this thing, which is keeping your eye on the prize. Give yourself the the best thing that you can do is give yourself something to work towards in 2019. If you don't do that, you're going to be missing out on something really wonderful. Um, push yourself to see how much you can accomplish in 2019. Define what you would like to have happen. So this is kind of where you're starting off. Let's see what the second quarter is. We have the seven of pentacles, lots of options. So it's kind of like you've probably planted a lot of seeds. You have a lot going on. And that's kind of the only thing that I would say is be careful of biting off more than you can chew. I know that can be something that Leo's like to do. And so um, it's kind of like make sure you're like tending to your crops, that you're not letting anything die on the vine. If you've started doing something and invested in something, then, you know, keep it up. Don't, don't let things get stale. That's why, that's why you kind of want to um, monitor how much you're committing to at the beginning of the year. Then the third quarter, we have temperance. There you go. Good job. <laughs> this is like, all right, right on. Nice, nice, nice. I like to see this because it's like, all right, everything is going smoothly. You're still keeping it going. It's about sustainability. And that's the, I think you do it right at the beginning of the year. You're just keeping it sustainable, going through this, and then it becomes super balanced. You're achieving that equilibrium that's really working for you. And um, yeah, it just, it honestly, this year looks really smooth. Let's see what the last quarter is. Page of Cups. Okay, beautiful. That emotional... Um, connections, availability, relationships in your life. Um, these are all things that are becoming more of a priority, probably towards the, the end of the year. It seems like you're very focused on getting things done, making things happen, just making sure they're sustained all through the year, really being a self focused for your long term goal and vision. And then it's kind of like as you find that you're sustaining these things, then it's like, oh, I think I can open myself up to more. And that's what the Page of Cups is showing you. 
All right, now we're doing a three card pick. This is an Oracle deck, so don't forget, it's it's not gonna give you the same quality of advice that Tarot does, it's gonna be far more direct. So if there's something that you would like to ask about, you can do that now, you can just set your intention for advice, whatever you want. Pick as few or as many cards as you'd like. Card number one, Sacral Chakra. So this is the second chakra, and um, it's all about sensuality. So really nourishing your second chakra looks something like dealing with the senses or indulging the senses. Cook yummy food, um, movement, um, healthy sex. Remember, I'm going to emphasize the healthy sex piece um, and, you know, get like massage therapy. That's a very, um, that's something that really supports your second chakra because you're dealing with touch, uh, smell, taste, like anything to do with the senses is how you can kind of nourish this. All right, painting, indulging in your creativity, making time for that. That's going to be a big help to you this year. And then second card, we have throat chakra. Okay, you have some chakra cards popping up. Speak your truth. Communicate the things that you want and need clearly. Don't shy away from... Um, don't shy away from the things that you need to communicate. It's time to lean on them. If something is coming up for you, it's not going to be a good idea to hide it or, you know pack it away because it's going to come up later it's best to just like spit it out now experience the conflict or whatever comes up with it now so that you can work through it and then it's it's like ripping a band-aid off is what I'm getting for this card number three we have opportunity so it oh this is interesting it's like there's an opportunity that maybe you can't see yet because I'm looking at this like it's all shadowed out or an unexpected thing that you're giving an opportunity to. Um, so like someone or something that you're offering or it's that the opportunity is incoming, that it's something that you have going on in your space or that you see pop up. All right, my friends, thank you so much, Leo. That's all that I have for the reading. But don't forget, if you want the 2019 love readings, and I'm going to be doing monthly love and relationship readings for every sign, the link is in the description box. That is going to be on Patreon now. Um, like I said, the readings just turned out so well, um, and they're super, super in-depth. So it's great if you're looking for partnership or if you're already in partnership and um, it can give you some support there. And there's a few different tiers that you can choose from if you just want the weekly by sign readings. It's very, very low cost each month. And then if you want to work with me every month, there's options for that as well. So um, otherwise, make sure you check out all the other readings. Uh, and until next time, I, th I think that's about it. Don't forget to check out my website, onyxhealing.com, for more. If you'd like to get a personal reading or work with me one-on-one, -on -one, um, all of the readings are, or, sorry, all of the links are in the description box. And don't forget to follow me on Facebook and Instagram. And I will talk to you all later. Bye-bye, Leo. Thank you.